ngoja mm. nataka utupeleke kwa hesabu pole pole mm. in kcp mm. we have 10 million students mm. wanafanya they do the exam mm. when the same same sample of students mm. uh, now come to high school mm. only, only 3, 3 million, million manage to successfully complete kcse and do the exam or join and complete yes. form 4 right yes, yes. and out of the three, the 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 3 million who complete and do form form 4 yes 500000 right? yes goes to university only half a million yes goes transition to university. to university yes and post edu- post secondary education other colleges and all that mm-hmm. is another additional 400000 so a total of 900000 go to post secondary education so between the 10 million mm. who did kcp mm. and the rounded off say a million who joined t- tertiary institution yes. is there a con- corresponding increase in the number of thieves in the population uh, of thieves generally in? that's what brings about the the low numbers in the income earners and all that you, you remember the statistic that says that only like 100,000 kenyans and only 372,000 kenyans and 100,000 and above only 372000 kenyans yes. in a pop- so uh, we i think mm. maybe we need to correct that because uh, mm. in a previous episode we said it was like mm. uh, 70000 yes. and 70000 kenyans and mm. 100000 yeah. and below a month yeah this is net yes. net income yes yes so it means now mm. it's less than half a million kenyans yes. okay less than 400000 kenyans yeah. and mm. um, above 100000 above 100000 yes and uh, so, so when you go deeper into the numbers the, you even have mm. estimates of the mm. estimated population of millionaires we have sure sure and you get that uh, just like we were saying the correlation between education and the the le- the income general wealth you yes. realize that our education system saves so many people along the way mm. so that those who get to the work at the end of it are probably mostly most of these in the statistic that earn this number mm. yeah yeah so that, na na hii distribution ya millionaires ati the distribution of millionaires in that uh, let's say like in, when there is a tier new dollar millionaire in the kenyan economy they, they know yes. how do they know your bank balance they know that the, the 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 government has the data from the bank the reporting from maybe every industry and all that mm. and uh, they just definitely know like uh, in the world there are 54 million dollar millionaires those are, that's people with a net worth of over 130 million kenya shillings okay uh, 22 million of them are from the us 6 million is from china and uh, the others are mostly from europe and all that in kenya we have only 7200 of those that's so out of the dollar millionaires of the world us all, all has almost half almost half of that and Kenya we are insignificant uh, because 7200 out of the 54 million is quite insignificant so this that still a, sounds like a big number it's, it's a, because yeah. dollar millionaires yeah. are billionaires in Kenya shillings no no no, no not no. necessarily because starts from 10 million dollars yes a, a, a billion Kenya shillings is 10 million dollars yes but 1 dollar millionaire is uh, 130 uh, Oh. million kenya shillings but then there are ultra uh, high net worth individuals that have uh, more than 30 million dollars or mm. 3 billion and all that those are like 19 kenya very few wait wait at 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 what the uh, ultra ultra high net worth individuals it's mm. 90 yes the last according to the last statistic 90 people yes. are ex- above above 30 above 3 billion kenya shillings most of this 90 are politicians yeah, definitely though generally uh, in african settings and all that uh, the most most of these wealthy guys are politicians and all but uh, when you go to developed economies the wealthiest of people are businessmen it's a reverse in this case in fact politicians in developed economies are poor people they are poor people they even fundraise to campaign and all that they go there to do their service and all and leadership and that's what takes them but the system is in such a way that it promotes business it promotes innovation yes and uh, everything that is for the good of the country so even in our setting if innovation could be 
promoted, then we can begin to have such kind of uh, high net worth individuals coming up. Innovation. Innovation. That's the way out. They promote innovation, they promote business, then uh, we should be good to go. When the systems in, in uh, those countries allow you to do business very, very easy. And if you have an idea, just like we said, an idea that is uh, out to, to make an impact, then you get support. You get investors fighting for you just okay. to support business and all that. And there is no... stake or for equity. Okay. Yeah. And in a practical sense, just to give an impression of how rich yeah. an ultra wealthy individual yeah. uh, is, yeah. there's a person who yeah. cannot go broke in their lifetime, however badly they spend. Yes. Yes and no. Uh, based on their spending. Someone can be worth a billion Kenya shillings or let's say three billion Kenya shillings. But if he starts to buy a private jet of 700 million Kenya shillings, a home in uh, Beverly Hills, they are done. Hundred, yeah, they are done. So it still depends. Oh, it but depends. then b- broke will be relative. You know, there is broke and there is, uh, uh, they'll still be able to manage, which are regardless of how they spend and all that. Much, much as the the broke the broke that they will go is not the usual broke that you and me know. Mm. You can sell the jet in a Bay Agioni and you'll still be richer yeah. than ninety percent of Kenyans. Yeah, sure. So that is how it is. The economies uh, that generally, if we look at, for instance, uh, China uh, versus uh, the U.S. and maybe the rest of the world. The reason why it's a, a, such a, a big economy that is growing and really doing uh, that is because they support manufacturing. Okay. Literally, the whole world depends on China. They they import, they do man, their manufacturing on of all their products. Even most of the U.S. companies, the tech company, okay, they do their manufacturing in China because the labor laws over there allows for the minimum wage to be lower than the U.S. It's actually almost half what is paid in the US. Okay. So like, for instance, if you, an iPhone was to be produced in the US, uh, right, currently, currently iPhone 16 goes for mm. just like 300,000 or so. Mm. If it was produced in the US majorly, and the manufacturing and all that, for them to be in business, they would be selling it at maybe 500,000 or that. Okay. But now that they produce it cheaply in yes. China, it's sold at, the cost that it is. Okay. Yes, because so, of the systems and maybe the labor laws and all that. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, kwa e production, mm-hmm. uh, we have uh, different Gen Zs. Yes. Uh, we have, um, okay, mm-hmm. Bishop is mm-hmm. blamed collectively if information is missing on the screen. Mm-hmm. Uh, Maggie is a general hater yes. uh, on the production. Mm-hmm. And it won on a calculator. Oh, he calculator, calculator require just in case. Bas. So Bas that that you, to, you, just in case. Okay. So that to go mm-hmm. to me. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's, what, how much does we can do this model twice? Mm-hmm. Uh, the first one, uh, what's the likelihood mm-hmm. of someone becoming a dollar millionaire in Kenya mm-hmm. uh, from a salary? Let's do a math, a math of mm-hmm. how much you need to earn mm-hmm. and how long it would take you mm-hmm. to become a dollar millionaire. The probability is zero. What do you mean? Outright. You can't. Out of a salary. Ata ufini calculator. No, no, there's no need. A dollar millionaire is a... <laughs> <laughs> there's no need. Uh, a dollar, uh, one million dollars is 130 million Kenya shillings, right? Yes. Uh, 130 million Kenya shillings. What the the median income of of uh, an employee in Kenya? The average salary of employee 75 percent of Kenyans earn below 50 thousand a month. So let's be as generous as possible and give someone a salary of 100 thousand as an employee mm. for a start with that mm. or well, let's just say even 200,000 mm. as a salary. How much is that in a year? 1.2 million. 1. Assuming 2. you have no other, nothing else you're spending. Yes, you get everything and yes. you, you save it. That is 1.2 million, million, yes. million Kenya shillings. Uh, in 10 years? 12 million. 
12 million. But on compound compound interest, see, after maybe, six years, your money starts to double. Yes, if you, comp- you, if you compound it and all that, you, yes, yes, you could have that. But then, uh, uh, okay, let's have a compound interest. Let's say you have... Uh, <laughs> Uh, you have your principal. You have to save it first to get yes. one million. Yes, yes, yes. Then, so uh, the first year you have one point two million. You have one point two million, which increases with a uh, hundred thousand every month from the second year. Yes. Okay. Uh, every month it increases by hundred thousand. Yes. How much would you have by the end of the second month? By the second. The by, second year. By the end of the second year, mm. uh, two point four million plus interest. Yes. That's compounding. Mm. So let's say it compounds at um, an average of 10%. 10%. Yes. Uh, so the compound interest formula would be, we have the principal, yes. then we have one plus, uh, no, 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 principal, uh, principal times time times uh, interest rate of 100. This is what would give you the, uh, the interest that you earn okay. every yes. year. Okay. Okay. Principal time and right over that. So the interest that you'll earn in at the end of the first year would be, uh, let's see. 120,000? Mm, 1.2 million, which is the principal. Yes. Uh, then you multiply by time, which is how many months? 12 months. 12 months. Uh, okay. Then we have no 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 wait wait wait. We can't do twelve months because mm, yeah, the because, year is, because it ends in that. Uh, so in the first year, I'm assuming mm, you have. Mm, uh, so in, in in the by the end of the first year, mm, still, mm, you have one point two million. Yes. Right. Mm, uh, so your interest will also be calculated. Mm, but, uh, because the question that I think we sh- you should be you are asking is. Uh, you have this f- first year, then of 1.2 million, mm. then you compound 100,000 every month, mm. and you want the time it will take you to get to 120 million, right? Ah, yeah. So let's do this uh, compound. Mm. Ah, yeah. So we do, mm. we do um, 120, uh, for, for 10 years, do you? Yes, 10 years. Uh, 1.2 million, do you? Mm. 1.2 yes then That's monthly the contribution yes mm-hmm. so at the end of the first year yes monthly contribution is 100k yes mm. okay length of time to me in uh, 10 years yeah. mm. I'll have at an interest rate of 10 percent yes uh, calculate annually mm. calculate annually mm. At the end of 10 years, you get 22 million. Yes. 237,000. Yes. That's the com- doing it compoundingly. Compoundingly, yes. Okay, okay. How yes. much would you get in 20 years? In 20 years. Um, in 20 years. Mm. In 20 years, at a flat interest rate of 10%. Mm. In 20 years, you get 38 million. 38 million. So, how long would it take you to get to 100 million? Okay, and this is assuming you've saved all your salary. Mm. So are we saying that the secret to uh, like mm. the l- level of money that you can talk about, like true and uh, like you, you are legit mm. rich, mm. is just make more money? Because on a salary, assuming you earn a million shillings mm. and you save half a million. Yes. A saving would not guarantee you that you would make. Uh, save, okay, investing, mm. investing in a compound, compounding. Mm. Um, how much you need? Mm. Say you need to save mm. half a million shillings mm. every month. Mm. Mm. For a monthly contribution mm. of half a million. Mm. Mm. Half a million at ten percent for mm. twenty years. Mm. Mm. Uh, we calculate that mm. you get. Ah, mm. you are a dollar millionaire mm. uh, in 10 years in because 10 years. you get uh, 158 million, mm. uh, 847,960. How much have you in- invested as principal? Um, you're saving, mm. you're saving, so, oh, in, oh, no, 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 oh, sorry, my mathematics is wrong. Mm. The, uh, the We start compounding from the begin, mm. the first year, yeah. so you need 6 million yes. the first year. Yeah. Six. Mm. 
six million because mm. you're saving at um, mm. Mm, six million. Mm. Uh, but now you're home and dry. Mm. You're almost two. Then, mm. what do you mean our to any compound interest? This mm. is the most realistic form mm. of return. Mm. Unapata 192 million. Mm. Basi how watu wananunua mm. cars mm. za 40 million, mm. 50 million. Kwani, where are they getting the money? <laughs> uh, generally, uh, the ones that buy 40 million, 30 million. Uh, Kunagari me trend juicy, it's a mm. 20 million car. Mm. How are you affording a 20 million car mm. if, um, how mm. are these people buying choppers mm. the 200 million mm. from a salary? We are in Kenya. We are in Kenya. So, uh, when, you, when it comes to politicians and that, then uh, it's a different question because from politics, you you can say that there is no point of uh, campaigning for with to be a, a governor or so and spend like five hundred million or six hundred mm. million, yet you'll be paid a million or two million a month. That is not even a tenth or even a a, a, a fiftieth of the sal- the total salary that you have throughout your term is not even commensurate to a quarter of what you'll spend. Are you saying mm. that? As per the economy, yes, yes. being a legit millionaire is a lie. Being a legit millionaire in the Kenyan economy is close to impractical. And a mil- millionaire or billionaire? Uh, okay, billionaire. Oh, to say my dollar, but dollar millionaire. Dollar millionaire. Yes, dollar just million. one. Yes, dollar just million. making a hundred million, million Kenya shillings from the Kenyan economy is not an a, a mean achievement. It's not an easy task. 100 million. Yes. And we have people when you want to jenga manyumba mm. that we are to kiss money borrowing. It mm. means mm. you have sticked yeah. mm. what you would save for mm. 20 years. Yes. Sir. It's impractical. It, uh, 100, 100 million. million. It's uh, It takes a lot of calculations and a lot of factors in play. But generally, it's not something for the majority. Kwa uh, salary, no. Kwa salari. Now, how many Kenyans do we have? Kwa salari, no. earn a million we, shillings consistently kwa salari, for 20 years. Kwa salary, no. Because generally, even from your calculation, it's not practical. Who would work for 40 years without uh, touching a coin? Because they want to be a dollar millionaire in 40 years' time. It's not practical. But then, uh, even in uh, in business, it, uh, it is still uh, at all order. In, based on the business environment, close to ninety percent of businesses in Kenya close within the first year. The second, then uh, those that survive the second year are maybe less. Than so the alternative is in forex. Probably. <laughs> you probably ako <laughs> ikona wait me, but then. <laughs> mm-hmm. For that, I don't have much information regarding. Mm. No further questions. No further questions.